Hey guys, we're here at the Microsoft Store in North Park in Dallas. We're going to take a look at the new Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Book. I'm John Peep. Welcome to GeekBeat. Hey guys, we're here inside the Microsoft Store. We're going to take a look at this bad boy right here, the new Surface Pro 4. And we're going to compare it to the outgoing model, the Surface Pro 3. Okay, so the old Surface Pro 3 had a 12 inch display and it was really beautiful, I love it. But when we take a look at the new Surface Pro 4, they've made a few big updates. This thing is now 12.3 inches and has a very high resolution, 2736 by 1824 pixels. That's actually a five megapixel screen and it has a Gorilla Glass 4 covering on it so it's nice and durable. Um, you're going to notice several things. One, you just it's sticking right out at you if, you if you haven't paid attention here is the pen on the side of this display. So if we take a look at the old one, the pen used to attach to the bottom and these things were notorious for falling off. Now it was a good place to have it. I used to keep it in my bag um, all the time and really loved the pen but I did eventually wear that thing out. Now the new pen just attaches to the side of the screen here magnetically. So that's, that's just readily apparent. We had to get that out of the way. One of the other things that you're gonna notice when you spend some time with these devices is that the screen has dramatically improved. Even though the old one was great, the new one is basically technically the best screen you can buy. Even Mac screens are no better than this and most of them this thing will kick their butt so it's got higher contrast better sharpness um, the resolution is amazing the responsiveness it's just a really really great display if you take a look at the old outgoing surface pro 3 you've got a, a set of keys that run right together with one another however on the new one the keys are a little smaller but there's a gap in between now to me, intuitively, I would have thought that bigger keys closer together would make for a better typing experience. However, it turns out these small gaps make all the difference in the world. Typing on the new keyboard is much more fluid, it's smoother, it feels better. When I'm typing on the old keyboard, and this is a complaint that I heard from a lot of people, it feels a bit unnatural. Now, it's nice because if you're unfamiliar with these things, these keyboards just snap on and off super, super easy and so they're they're ultra portable and that was very useful but they were hard to really do a lot of typing on this new one feels like typing on a regular keyboard so i was faster i was more accurate and another thing that i just can't help but notice i just can't get over it is when i'm staring at this screen even with the white notepad open here it's just so much brighter and whiter and sharper than the outgoing model, which I already thought was good and very acceptable. If you take a look at the ports that are available, there's no real big changes here. The new Surface Pro 4 also includes a 40% larger touchpad that's more sensitive and just feels better. Plus, you can opt for this little fingerprint reader. If you've never felt one, they're super, super light. It's only a little over a pound and a half and uh, just under three pounds even if you attach the keyboard. Again, the keyboard just snaps right on with a magnetic grip. And then this little pad right here kind of attaches to the front, so that helps elevate the keyboard a little bit. And for those of you who are also unfamiliar with the way the stand on the back works, it pulls out and allows you to adjust it to any different increment all the way to being super flat and it just stays where you put it. Even if you're touching the screen, dragging things around, tapping, etc., it doesn't really move. Okay, talking about form factors, I personally love the fact that you can detach the screen and use it as a tablet, but I also really wanna be able to use it on my lap. And that's what the new Surface Book is designed for. I want you to think of it this way. The Surface Pro is really a tablet that you can use as a laptop, but the Surface Book is really a laptop you can use as a tablet. So one of the things you can do, if you hold the little button down here, it will let you eject the screen. 
now we can carry that around. It's super lightweight. It's uh, the same beautiful high resolution screen that you get in the Surface Pro 4. When you connect it back to the keyboard, you get a lot of additional features and functionality. As you'd expect, since we've got this keyboard to work with, we've got more ports, and they are built into the keyboard itself. We've got two USB ports, an SD card reader. We've got a mini display port, and of course, that's the charging port. Now, on the device itself, you've only got one port. That's your headphone jack. We can disconnect the screen, and we can turn it around to treat it like a multimedia de viewing device. And if you didn't notice before, it's got a unique hinge design that acts kind of like a spring, and it gives you a really fluid, smooth opening and closing. When it's closed, you'll also notice it's slightly thicker at the back than it is at the front. So that's a little bit of wasted space, but it helps to protect the keyboard that's up there as well. Okay, and now to the question everyone is asking, what's this gonna cost me? All right, well, the new Surface Pro 4 starts at about $900, and actually these things are well-equipped. It's got four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of SSD at that level with a basic processor. Now you can move all the way up to a full i7, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte, 2700 bucks so if you've got deep pockets and you really want a tablet that you can sometimes use as a laptop get it now moving on over to the surface book they're going to start a little bit more feature equipped because these come in with an i5 8 gigs of ram 128 gigs of drive and they're going to start at 1500 bucks and then similarly again working their way up to 16 gigs of ram and uh, a built-in gpu on the keyboard 26.99. So, if you were to ask me, having had a lot of experience with the previous model of the Surface Pro 3, which again, I loved, I thought it was great, I wouldn't be the right buyer for the new Surface Pro. I'm gonna go for the Surface Book. I really wanna be able to put that thing on my lap. I'm gonna mainly use it as a laptop and occasionally as just kind of a multimedia consumption device. So I'm really happy that they came out with the new Surface Book. All right, that's it, gang. If you have any questions, drop them in the notes below or tweet me at John Pose. And uh, for now, I'm gonna go check out uh, the new Halo. So I'll see you later.